Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Araya. Right, we're playing as Rama, and we are on chapter two. And just re-emphasize it. Okay. And just to re-emphasize this fact, I'm going to keep it a chapter per video, because... I don't know, I, I want my videos to be a bit longer. Just a bit longer. Doesn't matter how long it takes to upload, it takes at least... 10 hours to upload, I shit you not. And here's the kicker. I was expecting to get fiber broadband in my area, but, uh, nope. They only got fiber broadband down in the village. And the village is like a stone throw away. And stop being so obnoxious with your instructions game. Stop it now, or is that your way of trying to be scary? Right. Either way, let's get into the spooks and the scares. No, can't go that way. Guess we're going back this way. <clears throat> Something's not right today. Are you sure? I mean, really. Okay, that sounded like complete nonsense. Oh, sorry, the most appropriate response would have been, Oh no, a disembodied voice, how scary. Oh boy. Okay, not the scariest thing. And what the hell is... <laughs> hmm. Okay, this is supposed to be looped sobbing or crying, I bet. Alright, do your worst. What are you gonna do? Ooh! She disappeared! Oh, come on. That, that wasn't that scary. It wasn't scary at all. Come on. You've got to have a better scares than that for me, game. Okay, but anyway, the most important thing to look for here is notes. Because I'll be honest, from the first part, this game seemed to be more story-driven rather than typical... Jump scare driven, if you know what I mean, if that makes any sense. I've got a feeling that something bad is gonna happen. Fucking hell, Rama, stop interrupting me, you prick. Either way, yeah, I could have worded that better. Check in at checkpoints. Okay. Seriously, what is up with that sobbing? No, so that sobbing is more annoying than anything because it doesn't even sound real. I mean, if you take in the acoustics of the room, the virtual acoustics. Oh no, she disappeared. Whatever shall I do? And now, once I read this newspaper clipping, she'll probably appear behind me and chase me. That'd be kind of cool. The local police station was contacted about an altercation that had escalated in the patient ward of Napa One Hospital. A nurse, Miss Jarwi Pranpitakachi, was taken to a different hospital after she had been brutally assaulted by six patients. One of the patients that witnessed the assault stated that Miss Jarwi had a bad reputation for treating patients badly. She is cruel, aggressive, and sadistic. She treats her patients like animals. Sometimes even worse. I saw her hit an old guy simply because he didn't eat his food. Well, good for him. If you don't eat your food, you deserve to get a dog's baiting. <laughs> okay, dog's baiting. I haven't used that term in a while. Both in and out of YouTube. Oh, they look pretty, Dolly. You would make for a great thumbnail. Yeah, that you're gonna make some, some great thumbnail material. I don't know. Was that supposed to be scary or something? Was there supposed to be a sound effect for that? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you turned around. Okay then. Well, I know your weakness. Doors. Can't come through closed doors, can you now? Uh, open close. There. Now she can't get me. Unless she grows an extra two feet within the next two minutes. And she can open doors with a with her opposable fingers. Or thumbs. Whatever. And she's gonna be right around this corner again. No? Okay. Right. Doesn't go for a typical cheap jump scare nonsense like most other indie horrors do. And these toilets probably serve no purpose, do they? Push or pull, well, there's only one option and that's to pull. I'd prefer if each each of these doors had pull instead of push or pull, because look. Okay, although what this game really needs is better door opening mechanic. Wait, who's in there? Who's speaking in tongues? Ah. <sighs> It's just the disembodied voice again. Oh, come on, at least lead up to something scary. Because uh, a disembodied voice, for the sake of a disembodied voice, isn't that scary. There has to be something that, le that leads up to it. Or leads after it. And now I'll be dealing with ghost girls, will I? Jeez, what the hell is that? What the fuck happened that time? Okay. Whatever. Just the game being a bit clunky, I bet. Okay. Kind of like a scene from the ring. But I'll ignore it for now because I want to read this. I'm so happy today. I made a friend for the first time in my life. Her name is Marissa. She's so sweet. She's always happy to see me. I can see it from her smile. Thank you for being my friend, Marissa. P.S. I hope I don't let you down. Oh, that's nice. I hope you don't let me down either. Now, let's turn this off because it's annoying. Oh, is that the same doll just in a different dress? Well, that's definitely the same character model anyway. You're not gonna jump at me with a knife, are you? Oh, Jesus. I see you are possessed by the furniture ghost. How sad for you. I shall pray for your plastic dolly soul. Okay, if that was a bit louder, it might have taken me back, but uh, it was a bit too subtle. Although I do appreciate how distorted voices can be creepy from time to time, but it depends how you do them. Oh, and there's another check in. So, can I go through here? I can indeed. But more importantly, can I go through here? I can! Okay, that is. Great. Please tell me that was just mice. Or a trap bird. Any mice or birds in here that are going to give me another cheap scare? No? Okie dokie. 
Oh no, a terrifying newspaper article. What story of death do you bring me this time? Senior high school girl found murdered. Oh jeez. Yeah, I definitely didn't see that one coming. Because that's all this game has been about so far. Murder, death, doom and despair. Now I'm going to close this out. Because I don't want anyone following me. Oh my god, why is the door mechanic so clunky? Oh, there you go. Good man yourself. So, any more notes? No? Jesus, this is turning out to be a reading simulator rather than a horror game. I'm gonna go down this way. Do you know what? I'm going to the left for once. Screw it. I want to go against the grain. Ooh, exit. I can leave, can I? Nope. No sorry, Bob. Can't leave until my duties are fulfilled. So what else you got for me? Oh, quit your crying, girl. Quit it. No one got anywhere by crying. Oh, another possessed doll. That was an odd sound. Or they wanted shears move. No, you just scoot it over here, and your ass happened to sound like wood scraping against the floor. Yeah, that's totally believable. Something isn't right. It feels different somehow. So the ghostly apparitions. The moving furniture. And the randomly appearing dolls. That's just a norm for you, Rama. An everyday occurrence while doing the rounds. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it is the norm for him. I mean, who am I to judge? Okay, here comes another scare. Uh, ghost. No? Okay, and these bathroom stalls don't have any doors. That's kind of weird. Okay, uh, okay. Guess we're going in. No, we're not going into that door. Okay, this game is definitely not a fifteen dollar or fifteen euro quality game so far. I mean, I know it's kind of early to rip into it, but so far the scares have been just meh. that way but I want to check for more notes none here none over here hold on I think I saw something shiny over here I did I knew I saw something at the corner of my eye Serial killer tricks truck driver into giving a lift, kills driver and steals truck. And I'm assuming this all correlates with the story. I mean, maybe Marissa is the killer. Actually, I'm gonna go, go back this way. I think I missed something back here. Or did I? Oh, that's the way I came. Or was it? Okay, now I've even confused myself. Did 
Did I come through here? Oh no, I didn't. Aha! A threatening message is written on this note. You must die. Oh boy. I totally regret my decision coming down here now. Something is definitely bound to chase me. No? You're kidding me. Nothing is going to chase me or kill me or even try. Okay. Well, have it your way. See, this is what I mean. There are perfect scare opportunities. But now you just let them slip by. That would have been the perfect time for a ghost to randomly appear behind me and murder my guts. But, uh... Yeah, I can just totally see the rest of this being jump scare fodder. Oh, well, aren't you a creepy little dummy? So what are you going to do to me? Hey, don't look at me like that. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, yeah, see? Jump scare fodder. Oh, I don't know. Probably change the ground. No. I hear chains, but I have no idea where they're coming from. Or where the sound is coming from. An empty gift box. Okay. That's nice. Are the chains on me? No. Okay. That's, that's weird. They seem to be hanging off me. Going by the sound, but I can't see him. Hey. Was it you that did that to me? Did you trap me in here? Oh yeah, you may be laughing now, but Jesus, once I get a hold of you, I'm gonna beat your damn ass! Oh, you're definitely gonna get a spanking. Come back! Rama wants to punish you. That's you're dead. You're fucking dead. Okay, maybe not, but I bet you're trapped now. Oh. Okay, this is very Silent Hill-esque here with the chains across the door. And especially, especially the rustic aesthetic. Oh, come on, you're not even trying to scare me now. Can I open this? Oh boy, this girl, she's gonna get a baiting. Cruising for the bruising, waiting for the baiting. Come back here. I said, come back. Oh my god, Rama, you are pathetic. Being a run by a little <laughs> ghost girl. Okay, what's behind this door? Another door. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now that was a cheap shot. So how do I go about getting out? Will it just disappear after time, or do I have to do something else? Oh. I have no idea how that works, but okay, I'm gonna go with it. Just go with the flow. And I'm guessing the dangling of the chains is coming from the doors, I bet. Can't see any chains up here. And what's that up there? Uh, 
Yeah, probably not. Follow me. Oh, I need more than follow you. Beat you. I beat you. You think trap it, trapping a man in some alternate weird Silent Hill esque dimension is a perfectly acceptable crime? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't close the door. Will you close the door? I don't want anything sneaky in or sneaky up on me. Go on, close it. Oh, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Because this room is full of dead. I knew it. See, look, a skull. It's a very symbol of death. A tiny skull. Probably from a child. Okay, what is up, little girl? Why'd you scare me so? What did Runner ever do Why to you? So late? I don't know. You. I'm probably not the right guy to ask. I'm just a security dude. Just do my rounds. Okay, see ya. Okay, how the hell I get here? Ah, oh, fuck it, I won't question it. F for flashlight. Follow the suspicious person. I didn't see any suspicious person. Although I probably did miss it or miss him. It's probably going to be shit more than likely. Probably up to some shenanigans. <sighs> Alright. Gotta be at the end of the chapter by now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Jit. Good old Jit, the local junkie. Ah, uh, he's probably just up, up to tricks. No notes in here. Oh man, I bet you that's him taking a splash right now. Oh no, just friendly little mice or rats. I can start my very own rat army. Go on, mush. Go on, lead away. Go on, lead away. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, subtle little scares like that. They're not too bad, but the whole ghost in your face, I don't know, gets kind of boring after a while. Oh, thank you, door opening ghost. How kind. I'm gonna check all these rooms for notes. Man repeatedly stabs and kills girlfriend in jealous rage. Jeez, what is it with Asian countries and and boyfriends and girlfriends, husbands and wives killing each other? I mean, you, you do hear that stuff every so often. Man kills wife in fit of jealous, in a fit of jealous rage, and vice versa. Ah, oh, I don't know, man. That's it's just weird. Okay, come on. Again, some doors only have the push option, so why put push or pull there to confuse me? Any notes here? Nobody, nobody knew. Okay. Nothing else here. Here we go. Surely there's going to be a few scares up here. Maybe I'll even bump into Jit. 
Oh, hoi, hoi. No, nothing. And... Yeah, only one of these rooms had a note. Oh, there's Marissa. That woman. I've seen her before. Oh, have you? You're asleep on the job. When she walked by you, so how could you have seen her before? Is that you again, Rama? This is none of your business. Yeah, it is me. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, 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 my God. Holy shit, she's going to kill me. Piss off. Hey, this is my hospital. You don't tell me to piss off. <laughs> oh, and there's the furniture ghost again. Up to tricks as usual. Come on, move. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. It's gonna kill me. Um, uh, 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 this way. Run, Rama! Run! <laughs> what? Okay, ch chapter three. Boon. Sounds like a very Australian name. Out in the boonies. Alright, Boon. Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> that. That cutscene just ended so abruptly. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Shit. Ah, uh, shit. We've come to the end of chapter two. So I guess we'll leave it here. Alright, enough of the terrible accents. Either way, guys, you know what to do. If you liked this video, Please rate, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.